Hello! Hi, this is Borna from Borna.tv. Yeah, look what I got. Yeah, look what I got. I got a couple of netbooks here. And uh, recently I've been fiddling with these things. Putting uh, new memory, you may recall that. And also I've been playing with the OS's. Now my wife's netbook here, she has the Vivian and Tam, Vivian Tam edition. Very, very nice, very sleek, mm -hmm. lickable. Looks like a lollipop, has flowers and everything. <clears throat> it came with Windows XP Home like my mine did. And uh, it's not turned on right now, but I just want you guys to get a look at it. It's very, very nice. Get a close up of it. Any excuse to show this off, I want to show it off. So very, very nice. So, um, hers came with Windows XP Home Service Pack 3, just as mine did. But I recently updated mine to Windows 7 Beta. And some questions and concerns came up, namely by a gentleman by the name of Philly Maniac 14. We had a discussion on my blog about Windows 7 performance and how it performed. Because I posted a tweet on Twitter that the the full screen flash performance with Windows 7 was not as good as it was on Windows XP Home. And this was on my particular HP Mini 1000. This is 1035 NR. At the time, I had one gigabyte of RAM on this. So, <clears throat> the blog post that we commented on was basically a before and after type of question. I then upgraded the memory on this to two gigabytes of RAM. Once I did that, I noticed a little bit of an improvement with the video quality in terms of frames being dropped and that kind of thing. But, I did a comparison, a head-to-head -head comparison on my wife's Hers has two gigabytes of RAM. Mine has two gigabytes of RAM. And I did a comparison with the same video on Hulu.com. I think it was in episode 24. Too bad I can't show it to you guys, but just you got to trust me. And it was almost identical. So, I don't know. I don't know if it's the... Uh, I, I really don't understand what happened. <laughs> to tell you the truth, because I, I did a, a video on, um, I did a video of showing myself watch Kung Pao Enter the Fist on Hulu.com, and I had very, very drop, very, very little drop frames. Um, but when I put on that episode of 24, I don't know if it was more movement, I don't know what happened, but I did notice a few drop frames. Not so much to where you couldn't enjoy it. It was obviously, it was looking really good. But Windows 7, the conclusion I came to with all that nonsense was that Windows 7 did benefit from the RAM upgrade. Windows XP Home, however, I'm not sure if it did or not because the performance was pretty much the same as it was on Windows 7. I mean, on Windows XP Home before and after. But all in all, I've been using Windows 7 on the Netbook 1000, HP Mini 1000, 1035NR, and it's been fairly very, it's been fairly good performance. Uh, I haven't been doing anything astronomically CPU intensive. <laughs> Most of the things I've been doing is web surfing. I have Firefox, I have Chrome on there. I use both of them interchangeably. I have watched a lot of YouTube videos. I have watched some Hulu videos. That, that's the main thing that I do and I have actually streamed from this machine using Ustream.tv and I've also actually watched streams on Ustream.tv and the performance has been very good. I do plan on putting Office on here just to see how it performs. I'm going to put Office 2008 on here and um, I'm going to see how it performs, if it works okay. And if it does, I think that's all the programs I'll ever need. I didn't think I need Office, but I added another gig of RAM and the machine is running very, very well. So those are generally my thoughts about Windows 7. It performs fairly well versus XP Home. Windows 7 requires more RAM, it seems, because without the RAM, it was a little bit slower than XP Home, which I kind of understood. This is Windows 7 Ultimate versus XP Home. So, and, you know, this was, I had on the netbook, I had all kinds of things going. I had Arrow going, I had Arrow Peak, all the default settings that it chose, and uh, it was running pretty good. I obviously, it turned off the things that I couldn't use. Windows does that now uh, based on your performance score. I think it was a 2.3. I don't, don't quote me on that. It, was, it wasn't that high. But uh, the, the Windows Experience scale, you know, they have the 1 through 10, I think it was down there in the 2s or 3s. But overall, it performed pretty good. All right, this is Boyle from Boyle.tv. Um, 
that's all I have in, in, in terms of uh, the HP Mini 1000 and uh, Windows XP versus Windows uh, Windows XP Home versus Windows 7 Beta on the same hardware with the same memory. Um, I, I can do some more tests. If you guys want me to do some more tests, just comment on this video and uh, I'll do some little knickknacks. I'm not going to install a whole bunch of stuff, but something that's easily done I can do. All right, take care.